Hello everyone, so we are now in the part 2 of our discussion on problem solving and reasoning and this is all about the if-then statements and its converses. Okay, in any aspect of mathematical investigation and problem solving, mathematicians are always inclined with having such conditional statements. This is usually in the form of if-then statements. So what is a conditional? Accordingly, a conditional is a statement in mathematics that consists of hypothesis and a conclusion. Okay, later on, we will discuss what is hypothesis and what is a conclusion. Okay, again, the conditional is usually written in if-then statements. Okay. So, what is hypothesis? Okay, again, Hypothesis is part of the conditional statements, and the hypothesis of a conditional states that the given facts are assumed as true. So what is assumed as true in the given conditional, that is the so-called hypothesis. Okay, next one. This is found in the if part of the conditional statement. So in the if-then statement, after the word if, that is what we call hypothesis, or that is the statement which is assumed to be true in that particular conditional statement. Okay, next one. We have the conclusion. So what is a conclusion in the conditional statements? Okay, the conclusion of a conditional states what needs to be established or true. So if the hypothesis is what is the things that are assumed to be true in the conditional statements, the conclusion is what is needed to be established or to be proven true using the hypothesis and it is usually found in the then part of the conditional in conditional statements we also have the converse so what is a converse okay a converse of a conditional is formed when the if and then parts are reversed meaning if the hypothesis part and the conclusion part of the conditional is being reversed so that is now the converse of the conditional statements and last one we also have the biconditional so what is a biconditional okay a biconditional is a statement that combines a conditional and its converse with the phrase if and only if so let's have the example of this one okay example number one Transform the following conditionals to if-then statements and point out hypothesis and conclusion. So, given the following conditional, two lines intersect at only one point. So, meaning, when we convert this one into if-and-then statements, so we will have this one. Okay, if we will convert this one into if-then, then we have... If two lines intersect, then they intersect at only one point. So, we... Now have the hypothesis, which is the af the uh, statement after the if part, which is the two lines intersect, and the conclusion part, which is after the then statement. So we have the two lines intersect at only one point. Okay. Next one. Transform the following conditionals to F and then. Those are the same. So, if we have a segment has only one midpoint, then we can convert that conditional into F-then statement into if a segment is given, then it has only one midpoint. The next one, the hypothesis, which is after the if statement. So, we have a segment is given and the conclusion part after the word then. So, we have the segment has only one midpoint. Okay, next one. Okay, state the converse of the given conditionals. Again, what is a converse? Again, if we reverse the hypothesis and the conclusion part, then that is now the converse of the conditional. Okay, so we have this one. If the conditional is in this form, if the sum of the measures of two angles is 180 degrees, then they are supplementary. Then in converse, we will just reverse the hypothesis into the conclusion and vice versa. So we will have this one or the converse of that particular conditional statement is if the two angles are supplementary, 
then the sum of their measures is 180 degrees. Okay, I hope so that's clear to you. Okay, last one, we have the biconditional. Okay, again, what is the biconditional? It's just the combination of the conditional statement and the converse statement using the word if and only if. So, if we have given conditional here, like if I have a triangle, then my polygon has only three sides. And we also have the converse of this one. Again, the converse is just the reverse of the hypothesis part, which is after the word F, if, and then the converse part, or a, I mean the conclusion part is after the word then, then we will just reverse that too, then we will have the converse of that particular conditional. So the converse is, if my polygon has only three sides, then I have a triangle. And again, the biconditional is just a combination of the two. So we will have two biconditional statements here, like, okay, I have a triangle if and only if my polygon has only three sides. So meaning we combine the two, the conditional and the converse, using the word if and only if. So we will have that biconditional. Okay, we, we can also have this one, another biconditional. My polygon has only three sides if and only if I have a triangle. So that is also true using the conditional and the converse. By combining the two, we have the biconditional. And that ends our discussion. I hope you learned something. And thank you so much for listening. And again, we will just discuss the part 3 of the problem solving and reasoning in our next video. Thank you so much for watching.